guys, I get a lot of knives that come from Jared over at Neves Knives, and this is one that really, it really has impressed me. I have fallen in love with this. This is a little Max Ace right here in my hand. Let's turn this around and take a look at this. I'm not going to show it to you now. Let's take a look at this from above. Guys, this is the Max Ace Meerkat. And as you can see, it's a very interesting looking knife and it has some really cool features. I have, I have to be honest with you, only found a couple of small things about this knife. Let's go ahead and get this box out of the way and talk about this awesome little knife. So I had never even seen this knife before. I missed Jared's video about it apparently. And uh, so he sent this to me and I'm really impressed with this. This is kind of outside what I would expect to see from Max Ace. They're known for like big, beefy, over the top kind of knives. And this isn't. So first thing about it, you can see it's striking. It is done in white G10, which is beautiful. I did clean it up a little bit before we started because I had been using it and it got pretty dirty. So you can see the nice thing about it is it cleans up pretty well. There's a couple little spots. This is done in M390. Now it is a reverse flick only liner lock. I don't dislike that. I like that you can just reverse flick it. Even though it's a little small, for me, this is like three fingers. I don't feel as though it's, I don't feel as though I've lost anything by it being a smaller knife. This is a very nicely done M390 blade drop point that comes down from a nice flat area into some belly, which means that this is something you could use outdoors. This would allow you to uh, you know, process game and stuff, small game. You're not going to, you're not going to, you're not going to take an elk apart with this, but you definitely could skin out and use this for some outdoor stuff. Nice big aperture on this with really good action. I've been impressed with this. I carried this all day yesterday. It is early this morning, uh, three days before Christmas, as a matter of fact. Uh, and I'm pretty impressed with a lot of things about it. It cuts really well. It is some fairly thick blade stock, but they did an awesome, awesome job bringing this down to a great transition. M390 takes a scream and sharp edge of heat treated well, and this does seem to have been heat treated really well. Like I said, the way the handles are shaped, even though it's like, it's basically a three finger grip for me, I don't feel like I've given anything up and you can get all the way up on it here like that. And then I do have a full four finger grip. You've got this nice ramped area here for your thumb and they didn't even bother putting jimping, which I dig. I definitely dig the the lack of jimping if you're not going to do aggressive jimping. But based on what you got back here, it wouldn't have been horrible. This isn't great, but it's also not horrible. Then the action on this really, really good. Just shy of drop shot with it being a smaller knife. I find that a lot of times they're not as easy to get drop shut. But this is absolutely super smooth. You've got a liner that's not a full liner. So it's a liner lock, but it's more akin to a sub frame lock where you've got a liner that's screwed into the scales. So that makes this a fairly light knife because the only steel in the handle is just the lock bar that's screwed into the uh, the G10, but it's not screwed directly into the G10. I should say that it's screwed into a pocket. So it's screwed in from the top. One of these screws, your pocket screw is holding that. And then that one, that's the only way to take that piece out, which I don't think I would recommend doing it. Hardware on it is done beautifully. It has got a really nice satin stone wash on it. And so you can see your pivot here. You've got that, that really nice, fine, fine stone wash that's on it. And then a polished pivot collar. And then... Like I was saying, cutting wise, I did a bunch of cardboard cutting with this and it cut really well. You've got a good finish on this blade. So you have a belt satin and then a blasted blade. Now I did clean this up a little bit. You can still see some of the trails on it from cutting cardboard. This has got kind of a weird harpoon look to it, but overall I really am digging this knife. I, I like the fact that I can either get here, here, I can kind of inch up on it. I don't feel like this needs a full finger toil. It really does feel pretty good. Um, and so this has got a lot of things going for it. Now, the other thing that I really wanted to point out, and I was saving this for last, I think that it is a necessity of the way they did the um, the lock on this, it could, it just could have been part of design. I love the pocket clip placement on this. I've never had a knife that has the pocket clip so far over close to the edge like that, where it was comfortable and not pushing because it's not a frame lock. You don't have to worry about it. And it just makes that pocket clip disappear. 
This is the most comfortable pocket clip I've had on a knife in a very, very long time. Super, super comfortable. And the pocket clip is great, like in and out of pocket, super smooth. Um, mainly because the G10 has not been textured to a point where it's really aggressive, but it's not slippery. So I guess there are a couple things about this knife that I think could have been done a little bit better. Um, but just overall, I'm really impressed with it. So let's talk about those negative things after you guys hear me talk about a sponsor. Because you've heard me talk about Coffee Brand Coffee a bunch of times. I'm going to do it again real quick. Coffee Brand Coffee is a channel sponsor. They are a great company sponsoring small channels like mine, but they also are a guilt-free purchase because they do not practice any politics. They have a money-back guarantee, and they roast their coffee on demand. So if you're interested in it, my my link down below in the videos saves you 10% at checkout, sometimes more depending on what they've got going on as far as specials and sales. So go check them out. Great product. Thank you very much for sponsoring the channel, Coffee Brand Coffee. Let's get back to the knife. Okay, just a couple things. One of them is just an aesthetic thing. Uh, the lock bar access. Lock bar access on it isn't great. It's a little tight and I have big fingers. So a lot of times I catch myself using my index finger, which isn't an issue. I, I want to be able to deploy quickly. I don't care how long or how I have to reposition myself to release the lock and unlock the knife. Uh, the next thing, I almost want this to have thumb studs. I like reverse flick. I just almost want this to be a thumb stud opener. Uh, because they did a really thick handle on this, which I forgot to mention is very comfortable because it is thick on a small knife like this. But I think that because it's so thick, it just doesn't feel like, I feel like I'm way in there. I mean, the deployment's great, but I think I would have wanted this in thumb studs. The next thing, uh, like if you didn't do jimping on the spine, why did you do it on the backspacer? Because it doesn't get you anything. Like I really don't feel that that is any, gives you any more traction because it's, it's kind of flat. If you look, it's kind of flat with the scales. So you don't have a lot of traction from it to begin with. It is decent jimping. It's just not in the right place. And then the final thing, as always, why would you put that big, ugly lanyard hole in it? When you have this lane, this, I mean, that's a thick backspacer. It's not like there's not enough material to do that. That hole goes all the way through. You could easily just put a post here, just milled that out and stuck a post in there or, you know, something else. There could have been some way to do it besides it because this is a very attractive knife. I, I, the, the last knife that I had that came in in white, I can't remember which one it was, absolutely loved it too. I don't know why I have not had more white knives, especially when they're done in a material that you can clean up relatively easily like I did because this was very dirty. So there you go, guys. One of the last videos that I'm going to film this year. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Let's turn this around, do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. Oh yeah, it's a yup. It's definitely a yup. It's not an, it's not an, it's not a no. It's definitely a yup. So now let's turn us around and do some final thoughts. second I pulled this out of the box, I got really excited about it because one, it's super comfortable. And two, I like these white G10 knives. I, it does it does look striking and, and I don't know why I haven't gotten more of them. I really do like them. I find out. And then on top of it, it's just an awesome, awesome, comfortable knife in hand. So there you go, guys. That's it on this one. We will get a full review done on this. I'm going to carry it. I'm going to test it. I do like this. It's going to spend a lot of time in my pocket. So um, if you liked the video, thumbs up. You don't like it, thumbs down. It is currently December 22nd. I believe I mentioned that in the video, 21st, 22nd. Almost Christmas. If you guys are watching this right now, I hope you had a good Christmas. Um, you guys know how you can support the channel. I guarantee I threw an ad in. I know I did. There's sponsors down below. A couple of them have discounts. Coffee Mary Coffee and Temper Trail. There's discounts built in their links. It saves you 10%. I have a 40% off discount code right now with uh, Beyond EDC that you can use. And I have got the same coupon code at Fair and Forge Knife Works and Rosecraft Blades. That coupon code is crazy sharp. All one word all lowercase, saves you 10% at Fair and Forge and Rosecraft and a 40% at Beyond EDC. I've got links to most of the popular vendors down below, Blade HQ, Knife Ship Free, GP Knives, and a bunch of individual companies like Kaiser, Artisan, Sabivi, uh, We, all that stuff down there. Uh, I also have an Amazon store. You can take that link, pin it to your browser, use it for any Amazon shopping you're going to do. I have got a public Discord that I've built. It says join the community down below. Click on that, join that. And I have got a membership that has a private Discord. I do exclusive giveaways, exclusive content, 
premium sharpening tutorial series there. So, um, and I'm going to start giving early access to videos again. They've changed the way you can do it. So guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. I hope you had a good holidays and I will see you in the next video.